the previous lesson we created all the necessary objects for animation and this lesson we will learn how to add color to our scene and create a wow effect. So let's not waste a minute and get started. Alright, first thing first, we need to go to the shading tab. And our first object, the tool texture, will be the main object, equal battle. So select it and press slash to view only selected objects. Let's select the battle itself and create a new material. And we need to add a noise texture by pressing shift plus A. And then create a color ramp. And connect nice texture with color ramp and color ramp connect roughness. And if you press shift plus control and click on the node, you can see what this node do. And also click on the nice texture and press control plus T and connect object instead of generated. Okay, let's also create a bump net. And connect it to normal. And after that we need to duplicate the noise texture and connect the color to the height. And uh, also connect object to the noise texture. And now all we all that left to do is to play around with noise texture parameters and uh, bump node. Okay, let's decrease the strength in the bump node. And play around with the stickers. And to connect uh, the same material to this part of the bottle, let's select it, then select the bottle itself, Control L, and press Link Materials. Now let's apply a texture for the label. But first we need to select it and go to the Edit Mode. And here we need to select these faces on the back of the bottle. Then right mouse button and uh, click Mark Scene. And select any face, press L to select everything, then press U and unwrap. Now we need to go to the UV editor here. Yes, and there is a problem because not all edges were selected. So select all of them and again mark them seal. Now again select them all and unwrap it. And let's go back to the shader editor and create a new material for the label. Then press Ctrl plus T and here we can open our label picture. Then we need to go back to the UV editor and here I have the problem because these vertices don't supposed to be there and because of them not all I just were selected. You might not have this problem, but if you do, select them and delete. Press X, vertices, and just delete them. And after that, we need to unwrap it again. And this UV map is much better than the previous one. So press A here to select everything and uh, rotate this UV map on 90 degrees. And we can also scale it. And as you can see, when we move the CV map, the picture on the label also moves. Now, let's select all these edges, holding Shift plus Alt. Then right mouse button and choose strengthen. Okay. 
and on this side also we need to do the same. And now we just need to scale it, rotate it until we will be satisfied with the result and apply our label properly. And also, if you want this uh, part to be yellow, you can select these faces of the UV map and just move them up a little bit. As you can see, we have a little distortion here and to fix this, we need to select these edges, press right mouse button and click the line X. And also we can do that for a couple of near edges. And on the other side as well. And if the text looks distorted, we can select these edges and move them a little bit up or down. Now let's go back to the shader editor to add more details and make this label looks more realistic. Let's create a noise texture and connect it to roughness. Then create a color ramp and place it between these two nodes. And while clicking on the noise texture, press Ctrl plus T and connect from object to vector. And again, as we did in the previous material, we can play around with the noise texture and the color ramp parameters. I personally have these parameters. All right, let's create a texture for the eyes. As regular, create a new material for it. And for, for the ice cube texture, we need to create a noise texture. Press Ctrl plus T. Then create color ramp. Connect the noise texture to the color ramp. Select the sticker, put it somewhere here, and the white sticker somewhere here. And the color of the color ramp connect to the roughness. Now let's create another node. This time is pump node. Connect it to normal, and from this noise texture, from the color we need to connect to the height. and decrease the strength to 0 0.08. And let's change the noise texture parameters. Scale, I will change to 4.1, detail to 11.8. And after that, also we need to change the transition to one. Then duplicate the bump node and the noise texture. And again, connect the noise texture to the height of the bump node and bump node to the clear foot normal. The noise texture scale I will change to 5, the detail to 2.8, and the roughness to 0.4 or so. And I would increase a strength for this bump a little bit. And here we go, the ice cube material is created. Now it seems like this, but in the render viewport it will look much better. Okay. The next object will be strawberry. Again, create a new material, the strawberry and 
Again, we need to create a color ramp. And now we need to create a new node, which is gradient texture. And connect them. Then select the gradient texture, press Ctrl plus T. And also connect color ramp to the base color. Then click on the plus in the color ramp to add a stick in the middle. For the left stick, we need to change the color to dark red. For the middle, we should pick the same color and make it brighter. And for the right stick, we should make the red color even brighter. Okay, the color should should be dark on the bottom and go brighter to the top. So in the gradient texture, uh, change the linear to quadratic and then change the rotation on Y to 90 degree. And in my case, uh, I need to play more with stickers and colors. But when we are ready, we can decrease the roughness to 0 0.26. And now let's create noise texture and a bump node. Connect bump node to the normal and uh, noise texture to the bump to the height of the bump. All right, uh, decrease the bump strength. And for the nice texture, change scale to 26. And ditto to 12.9. And roughness to 0.4. And here we go, the strawberry is ready. Uh, we need to texture two more objects, and this time let's texture an apple. And this will be very easy. As always, create a new material, and select this node, which is called principal BSDF, and press Shift plus Ctrl plus T, and then select the textures that you can find in the description. That's it. If you want, you can change scale of the texture here. But this is pretty much it. Okay, now let's create material for the wooden part of the apple. So we need to create a new material and here we can pick any wooden color. Brown color will be great. And then create a noise texture and the bump node. And connect them. And all that remains to do is to play with parameters in noise texture and bump node. And here we go. Great. And the last object that we need to texture is a banana slice. For banana, we need to create a new material then press Ctrl plus T and select the reference that we used to create this banana slice. And now when we go to the edit mode, we need to select this edge with holding Alt, then press Shift plus Alt and select these edges and mark Seam. Also select this edge and also mark Seam. Okay. 
Now let's go to the UV editor, then click on any of these faces, press L, then press O, and unwrap. Okay, and now we created the UV map for this part. And all that we need to do here is to rotate and scale this UV map to match it with the reference, with this picture. And when we are done uh, on this side, we need to do the same thing on the other side. So unwrap it and just scale it, rotate it until it will completely match the reference. Now we need to add another material slot for the second texture and create a new material for it. For this material, select this node and press Ctrl plus T and select the banana texture. Then to apply this texture to this part of the banana, we just select this face, press L, then choose the second material and click Assign. Let's fix the position of the material in the UV editor. First, unwrap it, select everything, unwrap, and you can rotate it and scale it. And to fix this, we need to add a loop cut and then bevel it. And this is the result we have now. But we can add more realism to it by adding bump node, connecting it to normal, and we can connect our image to the height of the bump node, and then change the strength of the bump to something very low. And exactly the same thing we need to do for the second material. So create a bump, Connect it and change the string. And here we go. In this lesson, we learned how to apply materials and how to create realistic materials for the object in Blender. In the next lesson, we will bring alive and then animate some learning not only the basics but also techniques that professionals use during their work.